So we should probably start with the news then, huh? Uh, news. You can't spell it without S. Some people uh, spell it with a Z at the end. I mean, they're not spelling it right, but they're, they're trying. All right, so to start, uh, ghost whispers came to visit the campus recently, and uh, they found the ghost of Mule N. Berg, the founder of the school, to which, uh, when questioned about the state of the school currently, he replied, boo. Uh, nine out of 10 Americans don't believe in Wyoming. The other one is wrong. Wyoming does not exist. I had a third story, but I completely forgot it. Uh, fourth. 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 Vampires are real. Do with that information what you will. And uh, I guess finally, just a little PSA for you. Don't use spider legs as bobby pins. It's probably not good for you or the spider. All right, I'm done. You got anything, Heather? On with sports? Yeah. Thanks, Jack. This past weekend, the Muhlenberg football team was victorious over the Patriots in the Super Bowl 53, Super Bowl 53, with a score of 56 to 3. Touchdowns were scored by both Victor Lament and Bob Ross. A win in this match advances the team to the World Football Championships held in Russia next month. We wish them luck. The women's basketball team has decided to move their championship game outside to accommodate the number of fans that are planning to attend. Instead of in Memorial Hall, the match will now take place on Chew Street, in front of the Trexler Pavilion, in the middle of the street, of course. In addition, there will be a special halftime performance by a new band called Crosswalk, responsible for the popular hit, Cross Street with Caution, Vehicles May Not Stop. The game is on Saturday, March 32nd, so you don't want to miss it. Finally, the Muhlenberg Cornhole team was victorious over the team from Lehigh with a close match that took place this past weekend. The Cornhole team has been extremely competitive this past year, winning nine out of their ten last matches, which may be enough to advance them to regionals. Come out and support this team's next endeavor in fr on Friday against UCLA in Ettinger Hall. That's all for sports. Now, on to Katie with the weather. Thanks, Heather. On Wednesday, you will see the brightest star in the world that when you try to take a picture, you'll squint your eyes because it's so bright. But the cotton candy will save the day by blocking the star. On Thursday, it will be the same thing as Wednesday, so nothing exciting there. On Friday, the star will disappear so the cotton candy will turn into tears, which will then give people free water. On Saturday, there will be so much salt in the Friday's tears that the cotton candy will be all dried up and there will be no tears left over. On Sunday, the cotton candy will recover and the star still won't come back, so the cotton candy will cry again. On Monday, the cloud will wait too long for the sun to come out, so it will turn into water and drop into a pond. Finally, on Tuesday, the star will come back so bright that it will burn all the water and the water will find out his friend Cotton Candy is dead. Hmm, sad. Back to you guys. Thanks, Katie. I think that's all for this week, huh? That's all I've got. Hmm. Well, it just happens it's April Fool's Day. Haha, <laughs> did we get you? Uh, probably not because those were some pretty ridiculous uh, reports. But anyway, we hope you enjoyed our annual uh, April Fool's Day shoot. Uh, we were your hosts, Heather Downey. And I'm Jack Ram. And we also had Katie Frischer on weather. So happy April Fool's Day and stay classy, mules.